we're going to continue along with JavaScript syntax. And we've been talking a lot about functions. And so far, we've just been passing information into our functions. And so this 6 would go into the x, and the 5 would go into the y, and then they would be multiplied. And in this case, the function would write out the result, which of course is our variable. And if we ran this, this would be written out to the browser. The key point here is the function is doing this. And the other point is that we're only sending information into the function. But what if we want to send information back to where we called the function from? And that is done with the return statement. And so again, we can send information in to a function, and we can also have the function return information. And that's what we're going to cover in this video. So we use the return statement. So let's go ahead and get rid of this document.write because we're not going to have the function do this now. We're actually going to use a return statement here. So I'll copy and paste that in here. And so now what will happen is the value that we got after we multiplied this will be returned to whatever called the function. And in this case, of course, we called it right down here when we specified the add function. Now we could just return it to here, but let's actually return this to a variable. And so let's make a variable here. And I should also point out that you don't have to necessarily just specify the function name to call a function. Variables also can call functions also. And we had actually done that in earlier videos. So again, you don't have to just specify the function name. You can actually create a variable and the variable can call into the function. So I'll show you that now. So let's type in the variable keyword. We'll call this variable the result. And of course, we'll have to use the equals operator. And there you can see now we've got a variable. And it's kind of doing the same thing, right? We're actually going to call it, but we're doing it with a variable. And so let's go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and run this. And we didn't get anything. And I expected that. And I'll explain why. And the reason is we didn't do a document.write. But before I get to that, let's actually walk through what happened. So again, the variable called the function. And we did the same thing as when we, we just used the function name before. We passed in a 6 and a 5. It came in through our parentheses. And then it was multiplied right here. And here's where it's a little bit different again. We returned the result back to the variable. So we sent something back. We sent the value back to the result variable that called the function in the first place. So so the value of this now is actually 30. Now the reason we didn't see that is because we need to do something with this variable now, right? We didn't do anything with this variable. So let's actually go ahead and write this out. And so if we go ahead and do a document.write and we'll write out the variable, let's go ahead and save this. And now we should get the result of 30. And there you see we got the expected result. So again, all you're doing when you use the return keyword is you're sending something back to whatever called the function in the first place. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.